Hey guys, my name's Trent Dalton. I'm the author of this Boy Swallows Universe. It's a coming of age tale, a work of fiction that is straight from my heart and soul. Um, it's about a boy named Eli Bell, a little beautiful Aussie boy who's 12 years old who receives a strange message on a red telephone in a secret room beneath his house that tells him he must go break into Boggo Road Women's Prison, a notorious Australian prison, to save his mum's life on Christmas Day. This book's about 20 centimetres by 10 centimetres. I swear to God, it carries my heart and it carries my soul. And I'd be so honoured if you read it. So I'm here in Waterstones Piccadilly, the most amazing and you know staggering kind of bookshop. Um, I just want to share with you three books that inspired my book, Boy Swellers Universe. The first being Papillon by Henri Charrier. Um, I've got to tell you about my old man. Um, he's a rogue. He's a rogue of a man who wore blue singlets and he was covered in tats. And basically he, he slept on a high jump mattress that he got doing community service at a local primary school. He'd wake up, he'd roll himself 20 cigarettes of drum tobacco. He'd lay them out across his high jump mattress and he'd proceed to smoke those cigarettes and only read books. That's what he did all day. Um, we would move from house to house in this little area of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And my old man would leave mountains of books at all these houses we lived in. I'd say, Dad, what about all the books? And he's like, Trent, I've read them. You don't understand. They're for other people now. Um, he was a beautiful guy. And uh, one of the first things he handed me was this. And it blew my tiny mind as about, at about 12 years old. Um, it's all about prison escape. And it's all about hope in dark places. And that's exactly what my book's about. And um, every time I've got, a, I've got a French copy of this at home, it sits on a, on a kind of a a wood cupboard in my house and um, I sit it up there to remind myself of my old man who's gone now and uh, he never got to see the fact that I wrote a book as well that might one day sit on a shelf beside this and uh, it means absolutely everything to me. All right guys I'm down in the fiction section now because I want to tell you about this book right here Steve Tolt's A Fraction of the Whole. I've got to go right back I've got to go right back to the earliest memory I have. Um, I'm three years old I'm, I'm in a yellow and brown t-shirt. I'm on a brown leather lounge. I look at my thumb, there's a freckle on it and that's right here. I turn to my left and there's a man who looks a bit like John Lennon, circa help. And he's got red hair and um, he's tattooed and he's muscular and, he's, um, and, he, and I turn to him and I say, I love you, dad. And then he turns to me and he sort of ruffles my hair and he says, I love you too, mate, but I'm not your dad. This is my earliest memory. And that was a guy that my mum had fallen in love with who happened to be a dangerously successful heroin dealer across, across southeast Queensland. Now, I love that guy so much, though, because he was like the first father figure in my life. Taught me how to throw a football, taught me how to love my mum, and he went down for 10 years into Boggo Road Men's Prison. The reason I love this book is because Steve Toltz writes about rogues like that in the most loving way that is everything that my book as well, Boy Swallows Universe says, it's this idea that you can love people who have done bad things. And then a kid can take love from unusual places. And um, also a kid will take love wherever he, he can get it. And I think Steve Toltz understands that. Check it out, a fraction of the whole. It's insanely readable and so clever. Now I'm down in the basement. I'm in the travel section of all places because I want to take you to Dust Bowl, Depression Era America with this guy and our oh boy, this means a lot to me. The last two pages of this book, the last two pages, changed my life. Um, those last two pages are about an idea that you are not allowed to waver from your decency. That's very important. It has been very important in my life. My life has been filled with people going to prison, people falling to drug addiction, falling to alcoholism. And this book tells you that you're not allowed to let your situation make you become a dickhead. And, uh, and it's an amazing lesson that John Steinbeck has given all of us. Um, there's an act of generosity in the last two pages that kind of changed the way I think about humans. That's how big this book is to me. Um, I'd love you to read it. And then I'd love you to read Boy Swallows Universe because so much of this is in that book. Thanks for listening to my three books. It's been a joy sharing these kind of really inspirational people with you.